So I'm gonna go over some of the sapling problems that you're ready for with you, just to make sure you know how to format the answers. The, the questions are very similar to what you have in your notes. So for this first one, it's asking you to draw the products of the reaction, products, plural, including all the hydrogen atoms and charges. So that means that we need to draw both of the products of the reaction, not just the amine. Don't forget that you have this plus hydrogen button that helps you add hydrogens to your carbons very quickly. It also will add hydrogens to your nitrogen quickly. Your nitrogen started with two hydrogens, which means now it has three. Don't forget that there's a positive charge on that nitrogen. And the other thing that we're making in this reaction is this OH. That's what is left of the water when it has lost its hydrogen and do not forget to give a negative charge to the oxygen. So for the next couple of problems, you're gonna see the same type of thing. Here's one with hydrochloric acid reacting with an amine and it's, it wants both of the products. It wants you to draw the, the, um, the new molecule with the nitrogen that has the extra hydrogen and you also have to have the Cl minus. And here's one with HI and here's another one with HCl. Don't forget the charges on those. Here's another one with HCl, um, don't forget the charges. And here's one that because it's a larger molecule, what, what they've done over here on, on the answer side is that they've drawn, they've redrawn the original molecule. So all that you have to do is modify it. So the whole thing is already there and we know that to modify it, we're just gonna add an extra hydrogen. Don't forget the positive charge. And then in the directions, notice it says, modify the structure, blah, 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 draw the counter ion. The counter ion is just referring to what's left over when the hydrogen moves from HCl over to the nitrogen. So Cl minus is the counter ion for this one. For this one, the counter ion will be I minus. Here's another one that the counter ion will be Cl minus. And then for question 18, so again, more modifying the structure. This one is, so it's a little bit trickier. It says modify the structure to produce the ammonium chloride salt. So that means that we need to first modify the structure by giving another hydrogen to that nitrogen and we also need to give it a positive charge and we need to draw the counter ion the problem tells us it's chloride so we're getting that info from the name do not forget that guy chloride needs a negative charge also over here on the other side it wants you to note which of these, these three that it's focusing on, which of these are chiral carbons? So you gotta think way back to chapter 15, what does it mean to be a chiral carbon? So first of all, nitrogens cannot be chiral carbons. They're, they're nitrogen. So don't even think about putting the asterisk there because that's not even a carbon. So you've got two left. In order to be a chiral carbon, you have to have at least four bonds. So that means this guy up here cannot be chiral because it only has three bonds. And so is this one chiral? In order to be chiral, you have to have four bonds to four different things. Look at the four things that are on this, that carbon. Yes, that is definitely chiral. And then there's one sneaky question down here at the bottom where it wants you to classify not the structure that we drew, but the structure that was provided for us originally. Is it primary, secondary, or tertiary? Which you guys can totally do that. Question number 13 is almost exactly the same. So here again, it's giving us an amine. It wants us to classify this amine. It wants us to convert this amine into an ammonium chloride. So you're gonna have a chlorine counter ion. You've gotta convert that nitrogen. You've gotta put some charges on there. And then over here on this side, you've gotta decide which one of these things are chiral carbons it better not be the nitrogen because nitrogen is not a chiral carbon. So hopefully that helps you get through these last, last few problems. And you have one left, 20, but you won't be ready for that one until tomorrow's lecture.